Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity OI 88J188 Infinity Infinity B44444 Infinity Infinity B1TT Infinity More info available at archangelicalendar.com Archangel Michael's report yesterday seems to have put everyone at attention which is a good thing but there is no reason to bring fear along with the alert, this is a part of what we discussed a little bit yesterday about spiritual confidence. The higher aspects of our reality are on a very active mission, we must trust this but also must do what we can. Make no mistake about it, the Archangels and the Fifteen Legions encompasses and incorporates all walks of ENE. Getic life, from every dimension, that is not to mention the fact that, the Legions, act upon the will of infinitely expanding Creator Source directly, with absolutely no middle man. What should also be said is that these beings have all arrived there in drastically different fashions and is honored. Our example of divinity in diversity, link. Once the universe creates something and then alters the mold, obviously this is a crude interpretation. Nevertheless, it is done each and every time. When we add varying life experiences, we see once again the grand purpose of diversity. Which since it is a main theme on ever forefront it would be very sane to deduce that diversity has a great deal to do with the meaning of our existence. I went into more detail on this a few days ago. That being said we must stop looking for others to validate our path. If they do on their own, wonderful if not, validation comes from within. Remember, spirit is not insecure, ego is. Gigantic time gaps are predominant today. When I say this I am referring to hours gone within the blink of an eye, as many of you have noticed. This is not to be taken lightly, as what I am saying and I wish no one to misinterpret this statement as anything else but what it is, that time is extremely unstable at the moment, this can have d. Rastic reproductions in the physical and non-physical realms. This is a product of what is happening on the fourth dimension, among other places, but it is also a poetic way to realize just how deep this battle actually goes. These time gaps seem to be galactic in origins and we have dispensed a healing and engineering team to help the situation any way they can. Given our present situation, you will be able to see people's polarity selves as they go back and forth from a quantum sense. This means you will see their shadow self as well as their light self, if they are not balanced yet, it will be a wild ride of switching back and forth. Organized darkness is frantic, scattered and unorganized. They are aware on a subconscious level that all the nonsense is moments away from ending once and for all. On a very lighter note the queen is about pretend to lose her mind, very literally. To complicate matters for organized darkness, Archangel Lu, not Lewis, has summoned his flame to the third. I of anyone who insists upon harming others directly or indirectly. This flame ignites their head of flame before they can actually do any harm to another. In all honesty, it can cripple a person to a level of incapacity. Archangel Lu is extremely powerful, very kind, caring and compassionate, but he does not mess around. Fear not Archangel Lu. To be noted, the energy is completely out of sorts for many reasons, one of them is that temper tantrums have officially begun. We can be assured that the minions who have blindly followed organized darkness will be out of sorts, as information becomes very public. Most of humanity's 7.8 billion people do not have enough belief in their ability to work metaphysically as of yet. If that is not the case, and for most light workers it is not, feel free to use your own tools and abilities for assignments. 
For the others, the tools below will help you bridge the belief gap, as your belief in the said being would come into play as well. We are completely surrounded by salt for protection and for conductivity purposes. The following tools will only be available until the mark of the next Archangelic Day, next day's official post. Envision yourself using said tools with a pure heart and intentions. A warning to all who try to yield unworthy, these things have their own will. Please make a mental note of what you wish to equip. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. Active equals intention needed to yield. Aggressive equals will attack or block without intention. Active, passive and aggressive anywhere within the universe. The Violet Flame Team is Archangel Galizor, Archangel GZ Rel, Archangel Anseal, Archangel O'Neill, Archangel Germain, Archangel Zardakil, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Uzil, Archangel Tat. Raziel, Archangel Briathos, Archangel Kirkel, and Archangel Bathkol. We have a very aggressive Violet Flame Team who has crossed in position for complete coverage. To be noted all the tools below have been imbued with the violent flame. This is a reflection of our current status of preparation. Active long and short range. Archangel Michael's legendary sword can handle anything, as it is completely omnipotent, there is no level of consciousness that can be achieved that this couldn't slice through. It is also an amazing weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Active long range, passive, active and aggressive short range. Archangel Isix radiant field looks a lot like Magneto's force field and it reacts to any life form with either loving energy, or a wit. H transmutation owl blast of vast power. Passive and aggressive, long or short range anything in your jurisdiction. Archangel Leo's Swords of Plenty, is a passive and aggressive attack sword that has a complete will of its own. Do not try to yield at all, you will only get in the way, equip and go. Active long or short range. Archangel Zagzagal's Staff of Heavenly Might rains large crystal masses upon a targeted area. Great for large targets, works great on physical or non-physical beings as well. Active long or short range. Archangel Zedekiel's Staff of Justice is a tool that is best used on a macro level and can help move things along that are stagnant. It can also summon and maintain force fields for protection purposes. Passive and aggressive, long or short range anything in your jurisdiction. Archangel Shepherd's Orb is a presence of divinity that allows anyone that you are engaged with a clear path to forgiveness or a direct audience with infinitely expanding creator source on the matter. This is a truly compassionate tool of divine orchestration. Please note the next three tools are healing modalities and can be sent remotely to loved ones. Passive and aggressive short range. Archangel Kalesiel's radiant rays of health wards off all disease and illness. It can also aid in the recovery of diseases already inflicted. It can be sent to land masses as well as living beings. Passive and aggressive short and long range. Archangel Thelial's radiant compassion sends heartfelt love to all in within your jurisdictions. This is the nurturing aspect of healing and is and it has incredible warmth. It is best to yield this with a calm frame of mind. Active long or short range. Archangel Raphael's healing staff is an omnipotent healing force that works gradually or intensively depending on how you yield it. It is considered the best general healing instrument. Please note the next three tools are meant to be used in combination. They are sent to us to help us sustain our physical bodies. If you need help using the below tools. 
Envision gold bars using Archangel Ariel's wand and set it on fire using Archangel Nasaragil's and Archangel Israfil's swords. I say envision gold because Gaia controls gold and cash money, well ya know that story. Also, the Galactic Federation trades in gold and manifesting in this method also aligns with the currency methods and any divinity-based currency system. Active. Archangel Ariel's Wand of Comforts, helps you summon any necessity you may have. It is a wonderful and comforting tool when equipped. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Israfil's flaming sword can protect you against all things directed to you on a macro or micro scale. It can also speed up the time in which something you wish to manifest will come to fruition. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Nasaragil's flaming sword can bring any negative energy to its knees. It also has the ability to remove any and all obstacles in the way of something you wish to manifest. Assignments. There is an invading group of shapeshifters that think they can hide in the fourth dimension and ambush us. I would like to point out that you cannot surprise us because of Archangel Zophiel. They are attempting to possess the unknowing and knowing alike. The solution is getting boots to the ground so to speak. This is achieved by surveying your landscapes and removing dark masses one by one. This means, feel around for disturbances and then handle them you would any dark energy. The wizards of old used to call this hunting and would not allow a wizard to gain his rights until this was achieved. Everything from malevolent ETs to lost souls are wandering the earth left to their own devices. There is not enough policing of these other activities, that has to change as it is our jurisdiction. In consequence, it's time again to cleanse the fourth dimension with violet flames. If you feel like we do this often, you are right. When we were on our 3D timelines, we could have never anticipated the mess the fourth dimension actually was. We will be holding the violet flame as long as we possibly can and because time is whacked out, I don't advise counting seconds. If you speak to an engineering archangel such as Zardakil, Metatron or Ragwell they will tell you that, you can always rewire a reality. The consequences of which may not be pleasant, but it can be done. The battle in the tunnels under Puerto Rico is clearly causing an issue, but it is not causing the earthquakes there. It is right next to Atlantis and the battle is because many groups are trying to gain control of the recently activated technology in the catacombs of Atlantis. These catacombs run all the way to Australia and you can guarantee that dark forces are approaching from both sides. This is no time to pat yourself on the back, there is much work to be done, much of which needs the precise hand of mankind, Archangel Metatron. The barrage of Metatron has officially begun. There is no other public info to speak on this matter. It is clear we are aiming for a complete and total successful win via shutout. If anyone here is not on task in regards to freeing children animals from the tyranny of parasitic forces. I ask you not wait for me to prompt you, bridge on task to clear the darkness around the innocents. Inside of every being there are all forces. The balance of which is determined by the cultivation and weeding of this inner garden. There are many parables about this, the Cherokee proverb about the two wolves being one that comes to mind, see below, and the battle of Yeshua with Saturn, which both describe completely internal battles that manifest into our daily lives. This is the same within each and every one of us. At this moment, there is a great call to clear, heal and transmute every ounce of energy that no longer serves us. 
Much in the same way we cleared our outer environment of darkness, we must look inside the catacombs of ourselves and transmute all th. It is holding us stagnant.